Okay, that's recording, man. That's my dog, Felix. Felix, hello. Okay, and I thought I'd go for a stroll today. This is the River Seven next to um, the county town of Shrewsbury. I'm here with my buddy Mark. I just bumped into say hello, Mark. Hello. Mark's had a go on my pipe. Quite likes it. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to get him smoking a pipe soon. And I thought I'd come out here and do a bit of video. And I bumped into Mark, who happens to be a professional cameraman. So. Uh, Young would call it synchronicity. There we go, Mark. Cute. There we go, look at that. Well, I've got a pipe in my pocket. I preloaded it. It's my, my monarch. I find it. £1.10p on eBay. It's sweet peach, Mark. Sweet peach. So I go to a light check and then I talk some crap for a while. Hey, Felix. We may even throw a stick for Felix now. We'll just find a lighter. Everybody's well. Last night I was up till two watching videos. The night before that I was up to two watching videos. Bonkers. This could take a while. Matches. Yeah, and then today I thought, well, I'll make one. So uh, I went into town, took the kids to school like I normally do. Went to the bookies. Did a seven horse, one pound accumulator. And if they all come in, <laughs> it's a hundred thousand pounds from a quid. So keep fingers crossed, everybody. Okay, I've got your good old swan vesters here. Let's see if this works. It's pretty good. So uh, let me just. What can I rant about? I got some St. Bruno last night from uh, Sainsbury's. Really strong tobacco and uh, I had a, had a couple of bowls. It was alright, a bit strong so I'm going to put that to the side for a while I think. I'm back to the back of the dad got some sweet peach which is what this is. It's nice. And some more Thomas Radford Sunday Fantasy. Now I'm going to throw my stick for the dog. Don't pause it, it won't be long. Okay, we've got River over there. Can we get, get River there? Hold on. Hit the river. Hit the river. Um, so I thought we'd go for a stroll. And I'll do little bits and pieces and I'll try to edit, to edit it together to like a, a 14 or 13 minute video. So, we do that, we go for a stroll, and um, and I'll show you somewhere else in this lovely park. See you in a minute. Are we back? Still the first light, I'm quite chuffed on that. Here, this is the public boat house. Anybody can come down here, pay a few quid, have a go on a boat, but I'm down the river, it's quite nice. Pears and whizzing up and down, very jolly. Over here we've got Sabrina. Some good parties on there. You can hire it out for a night and have a bash as a bar. But in the daytime, they go up and down the river. People pay a few quid to go on. Have a sani. Oh, it's going out now. A pint of beer. It's lovely. It's really nice. Got a few friends that have worked on there. It does sound like a right laugh. Coming up this river, we get to the private boat club, which is owned by Shrewsbury Boys School, a very, very, very posh school, probably one of the posher schools in the United Kingdom. And they'll all go off from there to the best universities in the country, off to Oxford and Cambridge, etc. Here goes the Breen and Owlet. They actually do free trips if you live locally. You can go there and get free trip at the moment, it's quite cool. Oh! Everybody waves. On this park across here, they were just talking about it. One of the biggest flower shows in the UK here. Famous Shoopy Flower Show. It's brilliant. They have a few gigs there. Um, a few big bands play there every now and in the summer. Always rains. Always rains. Jules Holland's coming here this summer. With uh, I think Mark Holman's going to be there singing as well. 
He's a rhythm and blues orchestra. Now I think what we'll do is we'll walk a bit further up to the posh end, and I want to show you something. On the, there's a plaque on that building we can we can check out. See you in a minute. Building up here. This used to be the workhouse. Uh, you'll get sent there if you had no money, if you'd been naughty, maybe you're a single woman with a child, and you'll be locked up in there in the Victorian times and work your bloody asses off until you could get out of there. Now it's part of an incredibly, that incredibly um, nice school, the Shrewsbury Boys School. Uh, over here we have their their boathouse. Now it's still on the public right away. We can walk through there, but state of the art gym, state of the art boat tap. Instructors from all over the world coming here to teach the kids how to row, which is a really good entrance into Cambridge and Oxford because of the famous boat race every year. And if you're good at rowing, you are in. You are in on that kind of rowing scholarship. Um, you can hear the grass cutting going on over there. Lovely field here. Um, this is actually an old house that's been converted. That house has been there, I don't know, 400 years, 450 years. Been a bit, tied up a little bit. That's the actual original building. Uh, there's an amazing plaque on here that I'd like to show you guys, and we'll we'll have a look at that now. See that plaque? Have a look at it. Get the camera there for a while. Let's see if read that. And I don't want to say too much about it, but obviously the guy was only 19 years of age when he when he passed away. And he must have been quite an impressive 19 year old because this amazing boathouse is all in his memory. And just thought I wanted to show you that I'm the 19 year old kid, lieutenant. And uh, there we go. There's a the boathouse again. On the bridge that's called Kingsland Bridge. It's a privately owned bridge. I paid 20 pence to go over it. You pay a little, there's a little toll booth. And there is that gorgeous boathouse. There's a private one, sorry, the public one behind it. Up on the hill up there you've got the bits of the boys' school you can see. And then we're now going to cross over the river and we're going to go to the other side and I'm going to show you the bandstands. Ta-da! St Chad's here. Very beautiful church. One of the largest, uh, I think it's the largest circular na nave in Britain. I think very famous organ, here's a few cars going by. The pits. And uh, it's just a lovely church, it's nice. Show you guys the bandstands. We'll check it out. Stop. This is the dingle. This is a famous dingle in uh, Quay Park, Shrewsbury. Yeah, a lot of people come here, sit down, have their picnics. It was designed by various famous West Midlands gardens over the years. The latest one was Percy Thrower, very famous British writer about flowers and gardens and veg and stuff a good dude this is a really nice place to go and hang out and chill out and look this way we've got the old bandstands which is lovely and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get in there now check it out That's it, a bit marked getting as well. Phoenix, you can stay there. Here we go, look at this. Look at that. Mark's just jumping over, look like a ninja. What's that? 
Okay. Here we are. In the um, in the bandstand. I like to think it's my private smoking area. Um, and we can see those places we walked around. That's the other side of the river we're walking along. Over there. That over here is the kind of public swimming house. Along this way we've got the, the boys' school boathouse. We walked over that bridge to get here. And then, I don't know if you got it or not, but there's a the famous dingle in there. It's very nice. It's a lovely um, place to sit down and chill out, have a picnic. I haven't smoked a pipe in there yet, but I shall do. Uh, Sweet peach. Very nice. Um, well, let me think, let me set it again. So last night, yeah, I got some St. Bruno, very strong. I'm going to keep on trying it, but you know, I've got back to the uh, sweet peach and I brought some more Sunday fantasy today. I did my seven horse accumulator again. One pound seven horse accumulator. If they all win, it works out £100,000. Got an earthquake going on. Um, two o'clock, the first horse is running now. And I'm going to go home, chill out. Wife's got a day off. Then I'll go pick up the kids about half three. Go home and hopefully have a, quite a relaxed evening. Um, Obviously, I'll probably be up till 2 a.m. again watching all those bloody YouTube pipe community videos. Um, and that's about it. I'll go home. I'll load this up. Thank you, Mark. Um, thank you to Bones for the shout out and Buntar. Um, I've started to find all the UK pipe smokers now. I've been watching a lot of their videos. And um, that's about it. Thank you, Mark, for holding the, holding the camera. Bye, everybody. Take care. Uh, I thought we'd finish it off by having a little one in the pub. There's Mark sipping his pint of bitter. Just a little one. Just a oh, little yeah. one. Just a little pint. That's my pint of lovely Stella Artois. I mean, I like my beer, I like my stout. But sometimes it's just good to have a pint. Oops, a pint of lager. <laughs> oh. It's Felix round. He got him. He got the drinks in. Oh, look, we've got some bands coming up. Very exciting. Dean Lim, the quiz night, that was me, I did a quiz last year last night, it's good fun. Got a snap, they're a good punk bands, they're good. South Birthday Bash, I'm there doing a bit of magic. Just witness they're good bands, play lots of blues and rock. So we'll add this, it's like a little bonus featurette on at the end of uh, the video. So take care everybody and uh, we'll just enjoy our beer and uh, smoke another bowl. Hey, bye Mark. Bye bye.